Good morning, this is Dwayne, and today we're going to learn the 12 major chords in five minutes or less. Five minutes from now, you're going to know all 12 major chords. I know you don't believe me at this point, but you really will, because there's only 12 points on the keyboard that you could learn chords. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 uh, roots, 12 basic uh, notes that you can build chords on, okay? So there's only 12 major chords, because when you get done with those 12, you just play the same chord an octave higher or an octave lower, okay, so they're the same thing. So the 12 are very easy to learn because scales, uh, chords are made out of scales. The word scale comes from the Latin word la scala, which means a ladder of notes. It runs from the root up to the octave, the octavo, the octopus note, okay, eight notes higher. So if I take the root, the first note, the third note, and the fifth note of the scale, that makes the major chord for that particular note. So that's a C chord, C major chord, okay? Now, if I build a chord on any other note, then I have to know that scale, okay? So let's learn the formula for a major scale, first of all, and then once you learn that, you've got it made. The formula for major scale is a whole step, not a half step, but a whole step, then another whole step, then a half step, then a whole step, then a whole step, then a whole step, then a half step. You see, that's a whole step because it's got a black key in between. It's got a key in between. That's a half step because there's nothing but dust in there, just a crack, okay? Hopefully not too much dust or I'll get in trouble with my wife. That's a whole step, that's a whole step, that's a whole step, and a half step. So quickly, you know the formula now for a major scale, don't you? Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Okay, so if I start on any other note then, I have to go up a whole step from that note, don't I? I can't go there because that's a half step. So my rule says go up a whole step. Now I go up another whole step. Now I go up a half step. Then whole, 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 half. So that's a major scale starting on B. You see how I figured that out? by the rule of whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. May seem confusing at first, but you catch on real quickly, okay? So, if, that, if that's the scale of B, and it is, and if I take the root, third, and fifth of the major scale, that's the B major chord. Okay, now let's get down to learning those chords quick. We're gonna learn 12 major chords quickly, and inside five minutes, you're gonna know them all by memory. Because three of them are all white. The C chord is all white, the F chord is all white, and the G chord is all white. Every other white note up from the bottom note called the root, okay? So that's the C major chord, the F major chord, and the G major chord. Okay, now henceforth and evermore you know three major chords, don't you? C, F, and G, and you know they're all white. And you know you can play them anywhere on the keyboard. And not only that, you can play them upside down. You don't have to put them in root position, but you can turn them upside down like that. Or you can break them up. That's how we develop runs, okay, that we'll talk about later, okay? So there's three major chords that are all white. What are they? C, F, and G, okay? There's three major chords that have a black third, a black middle note. They're D, E, and A. D, E and A. Which three major chords were all white? C, F, and G. Which major chords had a black third? D, E, and A. Now, there's three black, there's three chords that are like Oreo cookies, black on the outside and white on the inside. And they are D, E, A too, but D flat, E flat, and A flat. See the Oreo cookies here? Black on the outside, white on the inside. D flat, E flat, and A flat. What are they? D flat, E flat, and A flat. What were the three chords that had a black third? D, E, and A. Okay. Which, which chords were all white? C, F, and G. Which chords have the black middle note, third? D, E and A. Which chords are like Oreo cookies? D flat, E flat, and A flat. 
That's nine major chords. You've learned three quarters of all the major chords there are already. There's only three left. One's all black. That's real easy, G flat. We could call it F sharp, by the way, because that note is both G flat and F sharp. But I'll call it G flat, okay? So the G flat is all black. Now there's only two left. One is the B chord that I made reference to earlier, which is white, black, black, and B flat, which is black, white, white. It's kind of like a duck. White, black, 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 white, 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 black, 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 I guess a chicken. Okay, which three are all white? C, F, and G. Which three have a black third? D, E, and A. Which three have a, uh, which three are like Oreo cookies? D flat, E flat, and A flat. Remember that D, E, A, D, E, A, D, E, A. And which three are left over? The one that's all black, G flat, and then the two chickens, B and B flat, okay? Now what's true in the right hand is true in the left hand as well. You can play the chords here. There's the white chord, uh, white uh, major chords, C, F, and G. The ones with the third, black third, D, E, and A. The ones with the Oreo cookies, D flat, E flat, and A flat. The one that's all black is G flat, and now the two leftovers, B and B flat. Okay, now you've got a good grasp on the 12 major chords, don't you? All you need to do is review those and get them down cold and you'll have them the rest of your life. Easy. And I think we're still inside five minutes. Hey, thanks for being with me. And if you enjoy this kind of thing, uh, do two things. Subscribe to my channel and then also come on over to playpiano.com and sign up for our free piano tips because they're free. Thanks. Bye-bye for now.